Okay, so now I've gone through this and I've done about, let's see here, looks like 37 frames of animation. If I set this here again to 24 frames, that means that it's going to be about a second and a half worth of animation at this rate. So let's hit the space bar to watch. You can see if we watch that, it's got a nice smoothness to it. If I were to take it down to, let's say, half that, which is 12 frames per second, you can see that it's twice as long, but it's much choppier. You'll, so um, that is something that you're going to have to be aware of. And if we were to go all the way down to 8 here, very choppy. Now, as you're watching this, I'm sure you might have noticed, I'll bring this back up to 24, that there is a frame. I believe it's right around here in frame 6. And just to make sure, I'm going to turn uh, my frames down here. And you can see that this is definitely the frame. I've got a frame here that I need to replace because I have this little section with the pen in here that snuck in. So I'm going to click on this, and then if I right-click, I can choose Reshoot Frame. And then all I'm going to do, let's bring back that opacity so we can kind of see where we were before. The frames. And now I'll bring back Frankenstein. And we'll try to line them up right where he kind of needs to be. Which looks like right about there. All right, and then all I need to do, hit enter again. We'll replace that, and now if we play, no more situation with the pen. One more thing I want to show you guys is if you click here, you can loop back, you can loop it over and over again so you don't have to keep hitting play. And you can change the rate. Sometimes if you watch something in reverse, you can see uh, mistakes that you've made uh, that you wouldn't have seen before in animation, just kind of like you would take a drawing and flip it upside down. So if you reverse playback, you can kind of see how that works. All right, in the next section, I'm going to show you all how to export your video out to turn it in.